Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding to welcome the procession of the Lord Lieutenant of Leicestershire, members of the Board of Governors and Academic Board, the Deputy Vice-Chancellor, Pro-Chancellors, the Pro-Vice-Chancellor and Dean of the Faculty of Technology. Please remain standing for the national anthem performed by a member of the De Montfort University Gospel Choir. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Pro-Chancellor of De Montfort University, Mr. Mike Kapoor. Lord Lieutenant of Leicestershire, honoured guests, members of the Board of Governors and the Academic Board, ladies and gentlemen, graduands, welcome to the graduation ceremony at De Montfort University. Today we offer our congratulations to graduates and diplomates from the Faculty of Technology as we confer their degrees and diplomas. To those graduating, savour the moment in your success. And remember, your, DM, you, your DMU days do not end here. In crossing the stage, you join a network of 170,000 DMU graduates living and working across the world. That means lifelong support and it means that you remain part of the DMU family as one of our alumni with opportunities to continue to engage with the university through our DMU Global, DMU Works and DMU Local programs. You will be our greatest ambassadors. 
It is a very special responsibility and is something we hand to you today along with your certificate. Thank you and congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Deputy Vice-Chancellor of De Montfort University, Professor Andy Collop. Pro-Chancellor, members of the Board of Governors, honoured guests, and of course, graduands. I'm very proud to be here with you today to celebrate your academic and personal achievements and to share with you your graduation at De Montfort University. Now, I can just about remember my own graduation in the very, very dim and distant past, and before anybody says anything, this is definitely not a picture of me, I can promise you. But I remember white tie and tails, Latin recital, lots of bowing. The world has changed a lot during your time here at DMU and continues to change. Milestone moments from your study include the EU referendum, which has triggered a near unprecedented level of political engagement across the UK, particularly in young people. And now there's talk there may even be another referendum. President Donald Trump sits in the White House as leader of the free world, and just when you thought things couldn't get any more crazy, Leicester City went and won the Premier League. You're soon to step across this stage and into a world you might feel has hardened its mood. There are continued threats to build walls and ban travel, growing suspicions of the other, and dangerous denigration of our world-leading universities. So what should you do? As university graduates, you have a duty to speak out against intolerance, divisiveness, and the suspicion of evidence. Universities are a public good. They're a force for change who stand for the creation and exchange of ideas. You will have seen that for yourselves over the last three years, and it's something worth defending. I hope you will do what you can to defend that precious gift after you leave DMU. Many of you will know the story of Stephen Lawrence, a teenager who was murdered in a racially motivated attack in London in 1993. This year, Stephen gives his name to a unique research centre created here at DMU, that will bring academic expertise to bear on exploring and understanding many of the issues raised by the family's fight for justice over 25 years. Doreen Lawrence, Stephen's mother, is of course the Chancellor of our university and an extraordinary symbol of the values we cherish. Tolerance, inclusiveness, equality, determination, passion and a willingness to act. Faced with extreme adversity, she said, I could have shut myself away, but that's not me. Instead, Doreen has campaigned tirelessly for justice and helped Britain become a better society. You can do the same. As you enter the world outside of DMU, you will become representatives of a global outlook, of community, citizenship, and the public good. When some would have us look inwards and be insular, I would encourage you to be outward looking, to become citizens of the world and to embrace compassion. Nothing for me illustrates better the great potential you hold and the real impact you can have than our work with the United Nations Together campaign. Earlier this month, the UN invited DMU to lead its campaign to promote increased tolerance of refugees. Now, why DMU, you may ask? It was due to the work of our students and staff who have made positive change to communities in Leicester and overseas through DMU Square Mile, DMU Local and DMU Square Mile India. The highlight of our most, uh, our most recent, very memorable visit to New York just two weeks ago saw us debate and discuss issues of migration and refugees at the United Nations headquarters, together with UN guests and representatives from nine other global universities. This was one of the most inspiring things in which I've ever been involved. It was a momentous day, and our students were at the heart of it. They were, in the words of one senior UN diplomat present, activist diplomats, students who believe in the power of change. We can all make an impact, and we can all be the change. As our Chancellor Baroness Lawrence told the audience, it's time for us to act. For me, to be a citizen of the world is to enhance and defend humanity and the universal values that we all share. 
I'd like to share with you two observations from Mahatma Gandhi, someone with whom I've become very familiar through our university's work in India. Gandhi said, you must not lose faith in humanity. Humanity is an ocean. If a few drops in the ocean are dirty, the ocean does not become dirty. And he also said, you must be the change you want to see in the world. Now we can take inspiration from these quotes. As graduates of DMU, you've made a conscious choice to commit yourselves to learning, to grow as individuals, and to succeed through adversity. You're part of a generation whose voice wants to be heard and needs to be heard. You've volunteered through DMU Square Mile and you've engaged with the world through DMU Global. You stand for optimism and change. And we can be hopeful because you're making your voice heard and taking action. Action against the things you believe are wrong and in support of the things you believe are right. Now I don't know what the next three years or even the next 12 months will bring, but as graduates of DMU, I know you can face the world of uncertainty with confidence. Firstly, confidence in your university, because DMU was one of only 33 institutions to receive a gold rating in this year's Teaching Excellence Framework, or TEF. The TEF was created by the government for the first time to provide an assessment of universities focused solely on metrics that matter most to prospective students, parents, and employers. Teaching quality, student satisfaction and graduate employment outcomes. Our gold rating means that DMU was judged as outstanding for the quality of its teaching and the impact this has on students' lives. The TEF ranked DMU first in the country for equipping its students for highly skilled employment or further study and fifth overall for teaching excellence. Secondly, you can take confidence from an international outlook and being part of our international community of students and alumni. Some of you will have joined our epic visits to New York, Berlin, and then just two weeks ago, New York again, where we took over 600 students as proud citizens of the world. We'd hoped to take 1,000, but a once-in-a-lifetime bomb cyclone stopped many of our students from travelling, but I'm pleased to say they'll be able to go back to New York in June now instead. And finally, you can take confidence from being part of an international community of alumni. Today isn't the end of your DMU years, in fact, far from it. You're now automatically part of a network of 170,000 DMU graduates living and working right across the world. You can count on lifelong career support that is the next natural chapter of your DMU years. You can remain part of those things that make DMU and you stand out. DMU Global, DMU Works and DMU Local. Whatever you decide to do, know that you will be a vital to our local, national and international presence. So keep in touch. Let us know what you do next. For many of you, the choice of what is next will be the first of many you need to make. Where you find success, there may also be disappointment and challenge. Do not let that beat you down. You're allowed to fail and fail again until you succeed. And making a choice is not always about making the right choice. It's about taking a decision and committing to it without being paralysed by fear or regret. Robert Frost captured this notion in his poem, The Road Not Taken. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry I could not travel both and be one traveller. Long I stood and looked down the other as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. Then took the other as just as fair, and having perhaps the better claim, because it was grassy and wanted wear, though as for that, the passing there had really warned them about the same. And both that morning equally lay in leaves no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day, yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I ever should come back. I should be telling this with a sigh somewhere ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less travelled by, and that has made all the difference. I spoke earlier about Gandhi's assertion that you must be the change you want to see in the world. This is true. But the degree you receive today doesn't just give you permission to change things, it commits you to it. 
As graduates, you won't just be making your way in the world, but making the world and for the better. Amid an increasingly empty clamor for attention, thoughtful, authentic, and honest voices need to be heard. Make your voice heard and listen too to the voices of others. Graduation is change. You've taken your hard work and the fun times, your commitment and your sacrifice, your setbacks and your bounce backs, your planning and moments of inspiration, great teaching and your own talent, and turned them all into this success that we celebrate today as you receive your degree from De Montfort University. This is your time to shine. Take the lead, be the voice, be the change. Thank you very much and congratulations. Please welcome the De Montfort University Gospel Choir. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Deputy Vice-Chancellor, Professor Andy Cobb, for the conferment of the awards to graduates and diplomates from the Faculty of Technology.
members of the Faculty of Technology, by the powers vested in me by the Board of Governors and the Academic Board, I confer on you the awards to which you are entitled. Please commence the presentation of graduates and diplomates to the Pro-Chancellor. Honourable Pro-Chancellor, I present to you the graduates and diplomates of the Faculty of Technology, who by their achievement have had conferred on them academic awards of the university. The School of Computer Science and Informatics, the Foundation Degree in Silence in Communication Systems, Security and Computing, Adil Ali. <laughs> Matthew Barrett. Aidan John Bennett. Alex Catherine Brown. Harry Devonport. Ryan Daniel Evans. Ryan Fraser Kerr. Songela Mawila. Eleanor Murray. Matthew Rickman. Leah Elizabeth Robertson. Chelsea Ann Shand. Jordan John Robert Whitehead. In Games Technology, Liam Tomlin Thomas. The degree of Bachelor of Science in Artificial Intelligence with Robotics, Lalibella Snape. In Business Information Systems, Cameron James Ian Clack. In Computer Games Programming, Ben Harry England. In Computer Science, Daniel James Butler. Alexander Mark Dawson. Alice G. Ghazi Mohammed Jaheed Hassan. Hugh Patrick Ingram. Mark Henning Offair. <laughs> Benjamin Pearson. <laughs> Declan James Searson. <laughs> J. 
Gina Kaur Shankar. Irungu Solomon. In computer security, Pargat Singh Pahal. In computing, Peter James Anderson. Olukunle Anthony Laniu. Anish Manji. Kieran Thompson. In forensic computing, Oliver Butler. Ben Howgill. Edward James. Adam Joseph Rees Mogan. The Postgraduate Diploma in Business Intelligence Systems and Data Mining, Martha Haller. In Computing, Kuganathan Subramani. The Degree of Master of Science in Business Intelligence Systems and Data Mining, Sophia Ariadne Boraika. Winner of the Best Student for Business Computing and Mathematics, Stephen Defern. <laughs> Winner of the Best Project Dissertation for Business Computing and Mathematics, Diane Dezira. <laughs> Matthew Gallia. Rebecca James. Susan Kayla. Olan Rawaju Odakali. Yannicka Rochelle Pace. <laughs> Suresh Ramanan. <laughs> In computing, Benjamin Kluski. Piotr Mikalski. <laughs> Ijaz Ahmed Nurmamot. <laughs> In cybersecurity, Thomas Chapman. Olebeo Ibrahim Ishola. <laughs> Kamal Adadoyin Obatoyimbo.
James Owen. Winner of the Best Project Dissertation for Computer Science and Security, Stefan Poporov. Lokesh Krishna Ramakrishnan. In cybersecurity and cyber technology, Umira Sadiq. In information systems management, Jagadisan Kalidas. Alua Damilola Ogunleai. Correction, Adibobola Oba. Apologies, ladies and gentlemen. Alua Damilola Ogunleai. Christos Poyagis. In Intelligent Systems, David Burton. In Intelligent Systems and Robotics, Jonathan Brown. Aaron Edwards. Quentin Ferdinand. Paul Brian Isaacs. Hanik Singh Kera. Matthew Sims. Winner of the Best Student and winner of the Best Project Dissertation for Games, Technologies and Intelligent Systems, Mohammed Derry Alim Terry Jack. In Software Engineering, Atif Imtiaz. Vasuda Kilambi. The degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Computer Science, Isa Mohammed Mahmoud Kabaje. In e-learning and teacher training, Abdulaziz Zainal Abedin. In Information Security Management, Richard Philip Reese. The School of Engineering and Sustainable Development, the Diploma of Higher Education in Electronic Engineering, Power Electronics and Systems Integration, Abdur Rasul Mora.
the degree of Bachelor of Engineering in Electronic Engineering, Power Electronics and Systems Integration, Elliot Hodge. In Mechanical Engineering, Callum Bradshaw. Christopher Stanley Gilchrist. Liam Martin. The Postgraduate Diploma in Mechanical Engineering, Tajwa Mutasim. The Degree of Master of Science in Energy and Sustainable Building Design, Peter Bemrose. Winner of the Best Student, or winner of the Best Project for Engineering and Sustainable Development, Deborah Ferrugia. Mark Godfrey. Fibelis Nunziata Munoz. Stavros Soros. In Electronic Engineering, Bushan Rajendra Kena. Kushbu Naitikuma Parekh. In Energy and Sustainable Development, Tom Holland. Arjun Keshwala. Daisy Chibet Kiptu. Sarah Mercer. James Woodford. In Engineering Management, Amjad Alabadi. Mubarak Olatundi Busari. Adnan Chowdhury. Safian Javid. Wasiu Olusolu Jinadu. Yusef Natchi. Bavesh Mahendrakuma Tekchandani. In Mechanical Engineering, Kasim Aladita. <laughs> Abdulaziz Aroe. <laughs> Prathamesh Vilas Chinta. Ahmed Akmal Galimi. Yeah. 
Mohammed Jahanzaib Jamil. Emma Lewis. In Mechatronics, Christopher Coyote Aludu. Antonios Petru. Abdul Sati. Seth Simpson. <laughs> winner of the best student, winner of the best project for engineering, Robert Civil. <laughs> Madhav Sama Varanakotu Unikrishnan. Ismet Batuhan Yajija. <laughs> the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Renewable Energy, Samira Abdullah Ali. <laughs> Leicester Media School, the Diploma of Higher Education in Graphic Design and Illustration, Alexander Goodwin. The degree of Bachelor of Arts in Animation, Patrick Stanley Carvey. Rosie Victoria Jarvis. Sophie Louise Stockman. <laughs> Daniel Usher. <laughs> In English language and journalism, Brendan Safundu Dube. Ali Haider Hussein. Tai Mushambadope. In film studies, Alice Catherine Bryceland. In graphic design, Christopher Edwards. <laughs> Amir Nerozi. <laughs> In graphic design and illustration, Gail Buttrick. Pritesh Patel. <laughs> Kelly Yeats. <laughs> In history and journalism, William Parsons. In international relations and journalism, Cameron Titchmarsh. In journalism and media, Natalie Mooney.
in media and communication, Shavoy Ebanks. Ikra Fayaz. Sarah Mokhtad. Robert Simpson. In music technology and innovation, James Lawrence Hall. The degree of Bachelor of Science in Audio and Recording Technology, William Underwood. In media production, Celeste Jennings. Alice Much. In music technology, Jacob Brundish. Joshua Jones. The degree of Master of Arts in Investigative Journalism, Liam Connell. Anira Coker. <laughs> Rachel King. <laughs> Elliot Trundler. In TV script writing, Bradley Cook Catchside. <laughs> Beverly Cooper Chambers. <laughs> Michelle Haggerty Wood. Winner of the Best Student and winner of the Best Project, Tina J. Hiran Joshi. Asan Kazmi. James Waldridge. The degree of Master of Arts by Independent Study in Game Art, James Mark Broderick. In Game Art Design, Jeanne James Marshall. Amber Eliza Jane Jameson. In Media and Communications, Natalie Jane Wilson. In Media Discourse and Political Rhetoric, Andrew Michael Lager. In social media marketing and PR, Deborah Fakahinde.
in VFX for Games, Johannes Kutzia. The degree of Master of Arts by Research in Music, Sound, Art, Textiles, Samantha Jane Topley. The degree of Master of Science in Media Production, Jihan Ali. The degree of Master of Science by Independent Study in Creative Technology, Charlotte Guest. The degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Computer Science, Mansour Habib al -Khattan. The degree of Master of Arts in Investigative Journalism, Sarah Chowdhury. The degree of Master of Science in Electronic Engineering, Gamal Sala. Honoured guests, members of the Board of Governors, Pro-Chancellor and Vice-Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding. To the class of 2018, huge congratulations to each and every one of you. You are now graduates of De Montfort University.